Hello, I'm Gogo. Today we are going to talk about the most common complication in chronic kidney disease patients' abnormalities of mineral and bone metabolism, CKDMBD. What is abnormal mineral and bone metabolism, CKDMBD, and are there any indicators of it? When it comes to issues related to abnormal mineral and bone metabolism, previously known as disorders of calcium and phosphorus metabolism. It's crucial to begin by exploring the role of the parathyroid glands, which are responsible for hormone secretion in the body. The parathyroid glands play a vital role in our body by secreting parathyroid hormone, which acts as a regulator, much like the balance on a scale. Its primary function is to ensure a delicate balance of calcium and phosphorus levels in our system. However, when the glomerular filtration rate starts to decline, leading to a decrease in the excretion of phosphorus through urine, it's akin to the scale tipping and showing signs of disruption in the equilibrium between calcium and phosphorus. When hyperphosphatemia tips the balance, the parathyroid glands, responsible for maintaining our body's equilibrium, kick into overdrive. They start producing more parathyroid hormone to restore the harmony between calcium and phosphorus levels, resulting in elevated levels of this hormone. Additionally, when kidney function falters and hyperphosphatemia sets in, the synthesis of active vitamin D declines, triggering further parathyroid hormone secretion. The reduced active vitamin D levels lead to decreased calcium absorption in the intestines, which, in turn, fuels the secretion of parathyroid hormone. What happens when abnormal mineral bone metabolism occurs? Specific symptoms and effects include First, disruptions in the metabolism of calcium, phosphorus, parathyroid hormone, PTH, or vitamin D. Second, irregularities in bone turnover, bone mass, or bone strength. Third, the formation of calcifications in blood vessels and other soft tissues, which significantly increases the risk of cardiovascular events. Fourth, persistent and bothersome itchiness. Fifth, bone pain and an increased susceptibility to fractures. These complications have a profound impact on the quality of life for individuals with chronic kidney disease, CKD, and can significantly influence the prognosis of the disease. What is needed to prevent abnormal mineral bone metabolism? To start, dietary management is key. It's essential to adopt a low phosphorus diet. And the first step is to be vigilant about high phosphorus foods. The most common culprits are often found in processed foods. These items are susceptible to containing high phosphorus substances due to the use of food additives. Examples include a wide range of beverages, snacks, processed meat products, frozen instant meals, fast food options, various grains and legumes, whole grain products, and nuts, among others. Being mindful of these food choices is crucial in managing phosphorus intake. Here's another tip for lowering phosphorus levels in your diet. Steer clear of dishes like porridge and soupy meals. Traditional rice leaching is an effective method to reduce both phosphorus and sugar content in rice. When preparing meat dishes, it's advisable to blanch the meat first and then use a pressure cooker for approximately 30 minutes. When consuming meat, it's best to avoid drinking the accompanying soup. 2. It's crucial to ensure adequate dialysis and regularly assess essential factors such as blood calcium, phosphorus, parathyroid hormone, PTH, 25-hydroxyvitamin D, bone health, and vascular calcification. Additionally, follow your doctor's recommendations when it comes to medication, including active vitamin D, calcium supplements, phosphorus binding agents, and calcimimetics, tailored to your specific condition. Optimizing your dialysis regimen by adjusting dialysis duration, increasing session frequency, 
or considering hemoperfusion can significantly improve your overall health and control these critical markers. In cases of severe hyperparathyroidism, surgical removal of the parathyroid glands may be a viable option when deemed necessary. Remember, taking care of your body is an act of self-compassion that can have a profound impact on your well-being. That's all for this issue. See you next time.